Romania's Prime Minister has unveiled a new honorary assistant, completely powered by artificial intelligence or AI. Salut! Mi-ați dat piață. Eu sunt Ion. Acum, rolul meu este să vă reprezint. This computer screen you're seeing is called Eon. This artificial intelligence has been developed by researchers to quickly analyze the opinions of Romanians. People will be able to chat with Eon on the project's website. The AI will also search social media to figure out what the topics uh, are that people are talking about and to carry out what's called sentiment analysis. And that means it will analyze whether there is a positive or a negative reaction to a certain event, for example. So how exactly is this Eon AI assistant going to to help the Romanian government? Well, we asked the question to Nico Sebet, the coordinator of the research team. I don't expect that the Prime Minister will, will always do what, uh, what Ion will say, but it's more like a suggestion. It's more like, you know, getting the pulse in real time of, of the population. With this type of system, we hope to reach out a large um, segment of the, of the Romanian population. While this technology is the first of its kind in the world, experts tell us that there may be downsides to it. They use the term public space, uh, and it seemed like they were equating social media as the public space, uh, which of course uh, in itself is problematic because not everyone is represented there. Uh, certain voices would be amplified, uh, especially if you post regularly. And that was also the reason why I said that the public definitely needs to know how the AI is going to decide which voices are going to be chosen and which ones are going to strongly influence whatever the policies are going to be. Indeed, certain experts are concerned that, for example, bots could start spamming social media platforms to make it seem like a topic is trending when it's really not. The Cube has already covered a bot spamming campaign in Poland a few months ago. And here, fake social media accounts amplified anti-Ukraine hashtags on Twitter, making it look like there was a massive opposition in the country against Ukrainian refugees. And for Chris Shrishak, what's important is that this tool is not used to decide future policies due to these sorts of risks. It should ideally not be used as an input to influence what future policies are going to be developed. Uh, rather, it could potentially be used in a way where you get feedback on policies that have already been implemented. The researchers working on Eon told the Cube that they will be closely monitoring the situation and they'll implement changes if things don't go as planned.